All right, so this week in art, we're going to be learning how to draw a spaceship. And this is gonna be really fun because not only are we gonna learn step-by-step -step of how to draw a spaceship, but we're also going to be using our foreground, middle ground, and background that we learned about in the past week. So for this project, all you'll need is a piece of plain paper. It could be computer paper, sketchbook paper, whatever you have, a pencil, an eraser, and you're also going to need some sort of coloring supplies, markers, crayons, colored pencil. They all work great. If you want to experiment a little bit with paints, if you have tempera or watercolor, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, another thing is we're going to be using our imagination a little bit to imagine where our spaceship is going. Um, what is in our backgrounds? Who's driving our spaceship? So we will have a little bit of fun with that today. I'm super excited and let's get started on drawing our spaceship. All right, let's get started drawing our spaceships. I'm super excited. I think these come out awesome when we're done. So just follow along. Uh, we're going to be holding our paper vertically today. So hold your paper vertically and the first step that we're going to do is we're going to go somewhere in the middle of our paper and we're going to come up and draw a curved line, not too curved, just a little bit. Then from that top of that curve, we're gonna curve down the other direction and we're gonna stop. We wanna leave that nice space between the two curved lines because what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect those like that with a curved line. All right, so now that we have this top of our spaceship shape, we're gonna move on to the next step. And the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna make this almost like a V shape that comes in. We're gonna connect it to the bottom. We're gonna come in diagonally and then go out diagonally. So we're gonna do that on both sides. Come in diagonally, out diagonally. And they should be about the, both, the same on both sides. So try and make them the same size if you can. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a curved line that connects those two V shapes at the bottom. And then we're going to draw one in between there. So now we have one, two shapes. And then we're going to draw one at the top, but we're going to curve it the opposite direction. So the curve should be going up towards that point. All right. So now we have the base of our spaceship. If you want yours to be a little longer, all you have to do, I'll show you how you do that, is all you need to do is when you make this V shape, you're going to make them a little longer and then you have that longer bottom part. So that's up to you. If you want it shorter or longer, I'll leave it up to you. Then we're gonna draw a nice big circle up towards the top. This is gonna be for our window of our spaceship. All right, it's starting to look like a spaceship to me. I don't know about you, but to make it look even more like a spaceship, we're gonna add another circle inside of that circle we just drew for the window and we want to try and get it close to the one that we just drew we want it pretty close we want a space there though don't do it so that it touches and then we're going to draw triangles on the side for the fins or the wings of the spaceship and how we're going to do that is we're going to connect we'll start at the top one we're gonna go out from the top curved line. So we'll go straight out. And then we're gonna come up with our triangle until we touch our spaceship. We're gonna do that on both sides. Now this side we're gonna go down and then come up until we hit our spaceship. So we have two right now. And then for the middle one, we're just gonna draw a triangle shape in the middle. All right, now is liftoff time. So what we're going to do is to make it look like it's moving, we are going to draw the smoke coming out of the bottom of our spaceship. And how you're going to do that is you're going to come to the bottom 
and you're going to come in a little bit and you're going to make a line coming out of both sides just like that if you want it to um be skinnier you can make it a little skinnier i like it just a little bit inside of the our spaceship bottom then once you have those lines coming out you're just going to start to draw what looks like lumps coming out of each side once you hit your paper the side of your edge of your paper you're just going to stop then we're going to draw one two three or four lines coming out whatever you can fit just short we're going to stop about where our other lines stop and then we're going to do one a couple bumps randomly inside of there doesn't matter which direction they're going in all right so i have my smoke coming out if you want a little puff of smoke um coming off of it because this lift off is really really fast and when you want some of that coming off the side from the engine you can do that as well all right here is the fun part you are going to decide so this is actually our foreground so our spaceship is going to be in the foreground you're going to decide what's in the middle ground and the background so that could be stars it could be planets it could be other spaceships it could be astronauts, aliens, whatever you want to do. So for mine, I think I'm going to draw a planet over here. I'm going to draw a nice big circle. Maybe I put a couple rings around it. I don't want to see through my rings, so I'm going to erase that part. Uh, maybe it has a couple bumps. All right, so maybe that's one of my planets. Uh, maybe I want another one over here. A smaller one in the distance. Remember the farther away they are. The smaller they get. So I have a planet over there. Maybe this one's got some islands on it. And then I'm going to draw some stars. So you can draw stars like this. Or sometimes since we're going to be coloring this in, I like to just do like star bursts where you add a bunch of curved lines that connect together. All right, so that's going to be my background. Um, but I'm also going to decide if I want to add any other line. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna add another line here on my spaceship. And I'm gonna decide what I want driving my spaceship. Is it you? Is it a cow? Is it an alien? What is driving your spaceship? So I think I'm gonna do an alien. I'll make like an upside down teardrop. So you can do whatever you want. Mine's gonna have antennas. Have fun with it, use your imagination. All right, so this is going to be my spaceship. Um, you can do your background and your uh, middle ground differently. You can even add a different character in your foreground who's flying your spaceship. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna Sharpie mine. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can go either straight to coloring or use a black colored pencil or a black crayon to outline it in. It's up to you. Um, so I'm gonna come right back after I Sharpie and show you how I'm gonna start to color this. All right, so I Sharpied my whole drawing. Um, I tried to erase the pencil that I didn't do, and now I'm gonna start to color it. So I think I'm actually gonna use some markers and some watercolors today because I was going through my art supplies and I found these really cool glitter um, watercolors that I think I wanna try. So I might do these for the backgrounds and I think I'm gonna do markers for the details and my spaceship. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna color these in. You can use whatever colors you want. 
Um, but I wanted to show you a couple of little things that you can do. You don't have to, but if you want to, you uh, can try these at home yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and start to color in my artwork. So I think I'm gonna make the bottom part gray. So I think it's easier if you outline the whole thing first and then come in and color it. And then what you're going to do is let it dry for a second. Let's maybe move on to the next section. All right, once it dries a little bit, you can come back in with the same marker and go over it and it'll get darker. So I like to add shadows. And how you do that is you go around the bottom part because that's where no light would be. And you just go over it a second time and it adds a nice little dark shadow. So you don't want to go over the whole thing. You just want to go over the edges. So maybe here on this side, I do the sides and at the bottom, I do a second coat and that creates a cool shadow to make it look 3D. And you can do this with different colors too. If you have, um, let's see if I can find a light red and a dark red. Hmm. All right, so I have a light red and I think that's the darkest red I have. So what I would do is take my light red and I think I want to do this part red. So I'm going to come in, outline the entire thing. That includes the little piece on the inside so that we don't accidentally color it in. I'm going to color in the whole thing. And you could either come back in once it dries with the same color or if you want it really to pop out, take a darker color of the same so like if it's red, a darker red, and come in with that color and add in your shadows there. So I'm gonna do shadows on the bottom. So one line, and then I'm gonna do it on the sides. So one, I did a line on both sides. So you see how that makes it look rounder? All right, and then if you wanna do a little on the top, you can, but I like doing on the sides and the bottom. So that's how you start to add a little bit of shading with marker. You could also do this with colored pencil. Um, just press a little bit harder where you want it darker or use a darker version of the same color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start to paint mine in and color mine in and show you what it looks like in the end. All right, everyone, so here's my finished product. I think it came out really cool. I did the watercolor background and kind of made it um, a little tie-dye galaxy looking. Um, and then if you could see, I'm gonna zoom in on some of these details. I did add that shading in there to make it look a little bit more 3D. And I have my little alien guy there. <laughs> I think overall it turned out really nice. You do not have to do watercolors or create a galaxy looking background. As you can see on my sample over here, I just colored the whole background in solid. So that is up to you as to what you want yours to look like. Um, I did say I was trying out my glitter watercolor. I'll tell you they were a little hard to use at first because you have to rub really hard to get that glitter off. But it did come out cool because I don't know if you can see my paper did come out a little bit shimmery, which is a cool effect. Uh, I made a little boo-boo, but that's okay. Um, mistakes happen in art. All right, so that's what it looks like. I think it's really fun, colorful. I can't wait to see who's driving your spaceship and where it's heading to.